channel is Jacob Zuman 5 on today's video how to do an amazing trick which is called iBalance. Basically I came up with an amazing different way of doing it and it's actually using what I'm gonna leave behind these fingers. Okay, I'm gonna leave you here the key for this trick. I'm gonna show you how it's done and explain exactly how I figured it out. So guys, basically this is a simple method that I came up to basically create the same illusion as buying the real trick, which is, I think it's pretty good. If you check out the video I gave you in the introduction, check it out, that one first, and then you'll understand how to basically do the trick. So go back, have a look at that video first, and then come back to this one, then that will be a lot easier for you. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is to actually make the phone do the thing that you want. It can be it can be adapted to your deck of cards, to a phone, or to many other things. So for example, this one, as long as you make it levitate, you see, you let go one hand, and the phone will just simply stay in the finger. Side, which is the other one. I have a 360 movement of my finger. I can move it as much as I want and it won't fall at all. You can switch the phone on and check everything. Show everybody that it's nothing behind the phone, no stick tape or anything. And it's to perform the trick as many times as you want. Please subscribe, please like the video, share it to everybody, make your favorite, and then I shall tell you how it works. With the method, you can not only perform the one finger one, but you can perform this one that I made up. I call it the 90 degree eye balance. And it's basically, as you can see, a 90 degree angle balance. And you can perform the inverted balance, which is basically that. It's pretty cool, huh? And I don't think you can do that with eye balance. So this is extreme eye balance. Okay guys, so assuming that you already know and seen the video that I left you behind in the introduction before I'm just gonna get into it. So how it's done? Basically, I use the loops that I showed you before on how to make them. Them loops allow you to invisible levitate the phone, which is pretty cool, huh? very easy and it's affordable. For this topic I will be using a black string attach to the phone and so you can actually see what is all this about but as you can see you may be able to see the string it might take a while but the string is there and you can see the camera so can you see the string the string is just here okay and basically that is the trick it has to be placed in a certain manner like so so basically the string as you can see here might be able to see it there okay and then you place that with the hold with some cell tape behind the the casing in this case this is my, my Samsung and it has to be as low as possible to the bone and it doesn't have to be too slack because what you need to do in order to hold it out is maybe gonna be pulling in one of the corners and you didn't need that to be as loose about a centimeter out if you can see that you can pull about a centimeter out from the frame so then you put your case back on like so and what you do next is basically just perform the trick so let's say that will be an invisible elastic band so that won't be even visible this trick can only be performed in parties and where the light is not so so bright and that is the reason why I'm wearing my grey jumper because that comes into play and that actually is the main key for this trick to work because if you're wearing if you wearing a white shirt for example or something very light very bright very bright on your back then it's more likely for them to see the screen rather than not rather than using a black or dark jumper so how this is how this works so basically what I do I tell you what the phone is about I give you an introduction like the phone this is my phone with all my apps and etc nothing to see as you can see I'm covering it with this hand 
nothing to see on the phone, I'm grabbing the same way with this, nothing to see. I move it fast so they don't see anything. And then as I'm doing that, I'm kind of uh, pulling the string up and trying to grab it. And then I'm just putting my finger in it and that is done. That is it. Now you will say, well look, if I, you tell me to move one of the hands away, so if I move my left hand away, this is what happens. Ta -da! But it's not very funny because your thumb is holding it, right? So now, let's try again. I'm gonna move my right hand, my left hand again. This time, I'm just not gonna do anything. And the phone itself will just stay still, and you can do that. And the phone stays still. Okay? You have to be fast when doing this. Now, that is that. Okay, you can move save. In order to move, then you can, if you want to flip the, the phone to show that it's nothing around you, your finger has to stay on the loop all the time. Okay, so my finger is on the loop. And you just turn. You can see that. It just turns inside the loop. So fast, it goes this way. So it looks basically like you're turning the full phone at once. And you can perform the trick again without it stopping yeah so this is basically the way I figure out how to do it it might be that the real one is different you see something different <laughs>
so you have one in this corner one in that corner and the one in your finger and the string is pulling in your finger so the more way you apply in this side it will not fall okay it just simply will not fall for example if I, I've got here a speaker if I put the speaker on can you see it will slide yes but it might it just might be lucky to hold in place for a bit okay so that's it really guys I hope you really really have enjoyed this tutorial with me and I hope to see you very soon as well so there we go from me to you this is my 2015 Christmas present for you I guess to put it that way so thank you very much guys for watching and I shall see you soon bye bye to the rhythm.